Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at cross keying an interview lighting scenario. Cross keying is a technique by which you use one person's key to be the other person's backlight or rim light. It's used for a scenario where you have two people that both need to be in the interview scene. So the interviewer and the interviewee. So you want to get footage of the person asking questions as well as the person answering them. If you're working in a studio space, you can just keep adding light until you get the look that you want. But if you're in a environmental setting, meaning the person's home or an office or some kind of other location, you're going to be limited by how much space and how much time you have. So clever people have worked out you can get three angles or three different camera positions on two people, a master and two singles, by using just three main lights or even two if you have good ambient exposure. So I had heard of this technique, I have used it once, um, so I thought I would try it again in this setting, experiment and see what result I can get. So first step, here are our two interview chairs. Uh, they may look close, they may even look uncomfortably close, um, but this is a technique that's used pretty often because uh, you're usually shooting, not in a studio, but in a pretty confined space. So we're gonna put the people reasonably close together. We're gonna to have their knees um, almost touching, but in a sort of V shape, um, so that we can get a good angle on both of them. Um, and hopefully the wide won't look too strange. So here's our first uh, super panel. I've just less left the face bare. I have a soft box that I'll probably need to put on in a second, but at first I wanna just get arrangement and direction and intensity. Um, to, for camera and then I can start modifying the light. So I've closed the um, windows now, so I'm getting mainly the lights from the two keys. This light is keying me on the far side, which is what I want. I don't want uh, the key hitting the ca camera side of the face or it's gonna be too flat. Um, so it's the far side key and then the other key behind me is giving this great um, backlight. If I swap over to the other chair now and we go over to this other angle, now I'm getting this key uh, on this side. We're gonna have to adjust values and whatnot, but just for direction. And again, I'm getting the rim uh, kick back, like kicker or backlight um, from the other person's key. I found if I tilt the super panel um, up first, I'm able to get access to all four corners, which is where the um, snap bag attaches. So now I have my um, snap bag on, I'm gonna have to um, up the levels of the light because I'm losing a little bit um, through the diffusion. Um, so you see now we've kind of uh, got a little bit more diffusion on, there's less bounce, um, so that the light is a little more contrasty, which I like. Uh, sitting in my chair like I am here, I can talk to the other person and you get this uh, you have my key light on this side, have my rim light on this side. Now the two more things that I want to add are a front light so that it's not quite so contrasty. Um, this looks a little cinematic right now. The ratios between the bright side of my face and the dark side of my face are probably a couple of stops, three or four stops maybe. I want to get them down to maybe a stop so that I still have um, shaping, I still have definition in the face, but it's going to be very forgiving for, you know, older journalist that uh, may have a few wrinkles and may, or your older politician that may have a few wrinkles and may want to um, have a little bit more of a beauty light. So rather than opening the window, which when I do, I'm going to lose control over how intense that is. I'm going to set up a third light behind the uh, main camera um, and push that through some diffusion um, and use that as my front light. So uh, to kind of get that ratio back down to something uh, more uh, journalistic rather than cinematic, I've set this uh, C-stand with a quarter grid cloth um, hanging from the arm uh, with another Lupo super panel behind um, and I'm going to have the main camera down below. So it's sort of like an, essentially like a four by three on camera light, which is going to not create its own shadows but just bring up the level of the, um, uh, of the darker side of the subject's face. 
So now that we have our cross key interview, I'm going to um, set up the three tripods or three tripod positions and get shots from each one so you can see what those um, final uh, angles would look like. Now, I only have one camera or one C200 here, so I'm going to um, take a shot and move the camera, but you could theoretically shoot this with three cameras simultaneously if you were getting, you know, like I said, an interview with a politician or um, that sort of thing where what the interviewer is saying is just as important as the interviewee. So that is shooting a three camera cross keyed interview. The main thing that I learned that I didn't really uh, have a grasp of before was that you want to feather the key light so that it's not being too strong on the person um, who is it's backlighting, um, and it still has plenty of power so that it can hit the uh, uh, hit the person that it's keying. Hopefully that helps someone out there. Super helpful for me. Rather than setting, you know, if you were doing three point lighting for two people with separate lights, you'd be at like six lights, and we were able to pull this off uh, to shoot for three cameras in the shots that we saw here. Um, with just three lights um, and you know made a cool interview in a in what's essentially a two-car garage um, Thanks very much for watching. Uh, thank you Asen for helping out again. Check out his uh, YouTube channel He's doing some awesome uh, content there and uh, I will see you next time